in this story chamber, I cut that political team as a young state representative, learning both to advocate my position and respect my adversary, to disagree without being disagreeable, to listen because that's the only way to learn. Because at the end of the day, we are all Iowans, working hard to make our special state an even better place. Let us never forget why we're here, to do the people's business as their servants with respect and dignity and goodwill. Today I stand before you to present the state's budget for the next two years. But at the risk of sounding a bit like the, grand the grandfather that I am now, I think we need to start with a stern talking to. When I began the preparation of this budget, I was handed a list of dozens of programs, 89 to be exact, that have been funded with money that we no longer have. Everything from paying teachers to state troopers have been funded with one-time money, nearly $900 million. Now, we wouldn't run your family budget that way. If you did so, you would soon be visiting the bankruptcy court. And we should not run the people of Iowa budget that way either. And with that budget, and with this budget, it will come to an end now. with 
ones that won't evaporate in a year. Second, this budget provides 160 million, nearly 160 million, in direct property tax relief to islands. It fully funds the state share of the school funding commitments, erasing the need for local school districts, for local school districts to make up the difference by raising property taxes. Iowa property taxpayers have paid, have paid a high price for the state's past practices, and it's time that we make them whole. Third, this program and the budget make it clear that Iowa is ready for job creation. We all know that small businesses are the engines of our growth. Yet our small businesses pay an income tax rate that is the highest in the nation at 12%. And our small businesses pay commercial property taxes as high as those in Midtown Manhattan. This budget will make us competitive for new jobs. The small business income tax rate will be cut in half to a flat 6%. Commercial property taxes reduced by 40% over the next five years. New investments will immediately be taxed at only 60% of their valuation, and existing property will be rolled back 8% a year over five years. My plan includes funding for these tax cuts through the use of new revenue coming into the state due to economic growth. The additional revenue generated by the extension of the Bush tax credit of the Bush tax cuts and by a restoration of the gaming tax to the level at which it was originally agreed to years ago. I will be bringing forth legislation also to transform our current Department of Economic Development into a public-private partnership. This will be a partnership that unshackles our economic development efforts from an alphabet soup of bureaucratic programs and brings the best practices of both the public and the private sector to recharge our job creation mission. And I intend to give that new partnership new tools to market and sell our state to job creators. I've asked each of our department and agency heads to do a top to bottom review of all administrative rules and regulations to determine how we can best fulfill our responsibilities while eliminating the impediments to job growth. While tax policy can take us a significant way forward in our efforts to compete for new jobs, much of that work can be undone by a bureaucracy that fails to understand the critical relationship between burdensome regulation and job creation. The rules and regulations identified through this process will be the first subjected to our proposed rolling sunset, and I will further order all future proposed rules and regulations to contain a jobs impact statement so we can identify those that cost jobs before they impact Iowa employers. We've wrung our hands over these issues long enough. Now is the time to make Iowa's main streets truly open for business with the jobs that we so desperately need. It is only by these actions that we can ensure the growth that we need to fund our future state budgets. Many new governors all across America are aggressively moving to reduce tax and regulatory burdens to spur new job growth, and I want to position Iowa to be the leader. must do a better job of 
managing our scarce resources. But to levy additional property taxes 
to make up the difference. This budget funds that commitment with state dollars and provides direct property tax relief to Iowans. Sure. 